video. Today I'm doing a cooking video and I will be making roast beef with mashed potatoes. So I will show you guys how to do that. If you guys want to watch it, stay tuned and please comment, like, and subscribe and let's get into the video. To start my roast beef, I am, am going to let it cook in the Instant Pot. I am letting it saute and I already cut up my meat. I'm going to have seasoned it with seasoning salt and black pepper and I sauteed it with olive oil and minced garlic. So I will let you guys see the finish once the meat has been browned. I'll let the meat cook halfway through. You see the browning um, um, right there, but I have added some balsamic vinegar to, to bring up all the flavor that was um, that was left in the pot at the bottom from the meat. So now I am going to add my vegetables and I will show you guys. Now I'm that. going to add my cut up vegetables. I have um, carrots, red onions, green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers. You can't see it, but yeah, I did red peppers and green peppers. Um, I, I did. If I had mushrooms, I would add that too. But that's you can do that as well. That's optional. Um, I do not have mashed potatoes. I thought I did. So I'm, I'm just gonna do long, long grain wild rice for the starch. So yeah, let's get right into. Did the add next another two cups of beef broth because it actually didn't. Actually, it wasn't enough. So I did that. Um, I did my one cup of chicken broth and my one cup of water. And now I'll be adding my seasonings. I'll be doing seasoning salt just a little bit because I um, already seasoned the meat with seasoning salt, black pepper, oops, not onion powder. I'm doing this all by myself, so just excuse me for it. Um, chili powder that paprika if that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure there you go garlic powder even though there's already mint garlic in here and sometimes i do another spoonful of gar minced garlic just because i love garlic so much um or oregano add some um, herbs to it cilantro leaves And parsley. Hold on. And that will be it for the seasonings. And then I'll be adding some Worcester sauce. That's what it looks like. I'll be adding some of that to it. Just a couple, look, um, couple drops of that. And some steak sauce. should be enough and I'm gonna mix all that together and then I am going to turn it on stew and let it cook for 35 minutes and then I'll see you guys at the end and this is the final result I have added the rice into the bowl with the roast beef on top and added some juice for flavor around around it um it took me 35 minutes to, to let it cook into the instant pot so i hope you guys do this recipe um please let me know if you have tried it and make my version of it but please comment like subscribe and stay tuned for more bye